You know, I was recently watching an interview with a young man who is the son of a very famous entertainer. The young man who is now fully grown was complaining that his father was not giving him enough money to live on. The father had provided for his mother and him in ways that few people across the entire planet have ever experienced. His room was filled with all the latest and the most expensive sneakers and gadgets on the market. And as a matter of fact, many of those sneakers that he owned, uh, he only wore one time. That's how many that he, he had in his room. He had gold and diamond clad chains, watches, and of course, grills, which we know are the teeth that you put in. Those were his adornment of choice. Any new outfit that he wanted was his for the asking. His father was that wealthy. But now, at the age of 25 years old, he was complaining because his mother was no longer receiving child support. And he was reduced. He was reduced to receiving an allowance of nearly $9,000 per month. For those who are wondering, that is currently nearly double the yearly average of most two-income families in the United States of America. That means he was coming in at almost $100,000 a year, somewhere around $100,000 a year, but that was, that was not enough for him to live on. The son expressed absolute disdain for his father who was not one of those deadbeat parents who doesn't provide for or spend any time with their children. He was not the dad who could barely remember his children's name or even their, uh, their birth date. Yet the son proudly confessed that he had never once thanked his father for anything that he had done for him. He felt that he was entitled to receive everything he had. He asked the interviewer why he should be forced to waste his breath, expressing gratitude for what he felt his father was supposed to be doing. As outlandish as this story is, many moms and dads across the United States of America experienced the same sort of attitude from their children family members, and friends. The only difference is they do not have the resources to be money printing machines for everyone who surrounds them. Many of these parents have not heard the words please or thank you from their children regularly in years. Their children don't ask, they demand. And if that demand is not met with affirmative response, then there will be swift retribution. When we say thank you, we are not haphazardly throwing two words together just to make someone feel good. The dictionary, as a matter of fact, defines thank you as a polite expression used when acknowledging a gift, service, or compliment, or accepting or refusing an offer. The words thank you carry weight. They forge connections, and those words project power when they are spoken. Thank you is a doorway to receiving more than you have may have thought you should have received or serve as a hedge of protection when establishing a boundary. It all comes down to the context by which those words thank you, or being used. Choosing not to say thank you when a situation demands so, the use of the terminology is the equivalent of shutting down or shutting the door on receiving the full blessings that are attached to whoever the gifting party is. Who's to say that the entertainer's son would not have received more from his father if he would just take a little bit of time to express some genuine gratitude for all that his father had done for him his entire life. 
The principle of saying thank you applies spiritually and naturally. The 100th Psalm is a psalm of thanksgiving. Here we find where King David knew where his help comes from. King David understood what it meant to be reliant on God from childhood and wanted nothing to interfere in the relationship he had with his heavenly father. Contrary to the example I shared earlier and the numerous examples that many of us can testify to, David was not reluctant when expressing his gratitude for what was done for him. And God responded by continuously blessing David with more than what he asked. David was not attempting to earn God's love. Rather, he was expressing gratitude for God's love toward him. Thank you for the roof over my head, Dad. Thank you for prepared food on the table, Mom. Thank you for loving me enough to cheer me on when I am at my best. And God... I want to thank you for correcting me when I am wrong. The 100th Psalm says, A psalm of thanksgiving. Shout for joy to Adonai, all the earth. Serve Adonai with gladness. Enter his presence with joyful songs. Be aware that Adonai is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. His people, the flock of his pastures, Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his courtyards with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For Adonai is good. I'm going to say that again. Adonai, your Lord God, he is good. His grace continues forever and his faithfulness lasts through all generations. The heart of David, his humility, and willingness to express thankfulness to the Almighty won him favor with God. And it also won him favor with the nations that surrounded Israel, including his enemies. This favor has extended to members of his family, the generations that followed, along with those of us who are grafted on as spiritual lineage. As we approach Thanksgiving Day here in the United States of America, I would ask that we consider what blessings we have kept on hold because of our unwillingness or our ignorance in expressing thankfulness to God and those who have been a blessing to us. When I think about how many adults and their children are missing out on walking in the abundant blessings of the Lord because they feel entitled, my heart breaks. As we sit around our tables this holiday season, filling our bellies with food, drink, and sweets, let us move beyond moments of thanksgiving to a lifestyle of expressing our gratitude to our Heavenly Father and those persons we are blessed to have inhabit our lives. There are greater things God wants to give that money, status, and celebrity, folks, it can't buy. But as generous as our God is, he cannot force us to receive or open doors that our hearts continue to lock. Remember, Thanksgiving is not just the day, is not just an hour, and it certainly is not merely a moment. Thank you is a doorway through which blessings flow or which they can be denied. God bless you.